How's it going guys? My name is Robot CBH and in today's video we're going to be continuing the no clip heist and we're on to the Golden Shark Bank now. Probably one of the easiest ones to solo self on overkill difficulty. Okay, so we're not actually going to use any of the favors that are listed here. We don't need any of these at all. We're going to go in with a stealth loadout. And... Choose a way inside, but stay sharp. Security's tight. Okay, I don't want to talk over when she talks, so I'm going to start stop talking when she's talking to me you know? the plans we stole say the vault is between the ground and upper floors you'll need to find a way up there do i need to get rush access to the upper floor requires a high security key card if you hack into a computer in the human resources department and i'm gonna take a guess and say it's that one employee with clearance we're gonna take all the loose cash line around this map too Take another phone, just in case we need to get into the back rooms if I do guess the wrong room. But it's usually this room. It's it's this loan officer like 90% of the time. Go in, and it's not the loan officer this time because he's not in there. So we're gonna go check the back of the back of the place. So we're gonna hit this door here. Of course, there's a camera watching me, and I don't want to get caught by the camera. So scan the code. Check the guard over there. Close the door and move past the guard. Unlock this. Oh, it's already unlocked on this side of the map. Okay. So we wait for this guard to move. And then we're going to need to find a phone for the bank assistant. So there should be a phone in here. Okay, so we got the phone that we needed. Now we need to see if that guard's going to check. He's on the move now. Wait for him to come around and then we can make a move ourselves. Perfect, just like that. Now we're gonna go in this room. Nobody with the ability to pull too. what Shark did to you guys is playing by the rules. Okay, so yeah, it's as soon that as room. we get our hands on that server, we'll have access to all her shady dealings. And you can tell it's the room because the person spawns in the room of the correct room. So when you saw at the beginning, when Liam wasn't in the room, we knew it wasn't that room due to the fact that he wasn't there. The door behind us, and the key card's under this. You can see the red label. Great. Now open that gate. I do need to run back inside at some point because there is a room filled with cash. This room, I'm okay. Nope. This room. Nope. Which room is filled with cash? One of the rooms has got a bunch of cash on the table. So it's going to be at the end of the hallway over here this time, at the back room. So we're going to run to that room, take the cash off the table, and then we're going to push the stairs. Can do it right now? Is there a camera watching? And we're in. Okay, I'm going to go grab that cash. We want everything, every bit of loot available in this map we want. Now we're going to go up here. We'll activate the next objective. There's the door to the vault. It requires a four-digit code to open. Now, if I knew the code, we could Find just bypass this room. whole thing. It's somewhere on the upper floor, but I don't know where exactly. I can hack the database and get the code from there. Find the server room. It's a camera. I hack this camera. And that way I can take the doors that I need to take for later. Server room's gonna be uh, one of the back corners. Oh, hello. No. Not right now. I don't need you slowing me down. What we are gonna do, we're gonna no clip and take the key card off the bank manager, wherever he may be. I thought this would be the bank manager, but no. There's the bank manager right there. We'll take the key card. We can take his office and we can take the cash off the office table. And then we go out of the door, and then the room that we need to be in will be here. There it is. Patch me in. Perfect. Okay, I'm in. This shouldn't take long. Bumped into the civvy, and then we're just going to wait it out. And then it should hopefully take us to this room, with this Keep being where the PC is. We don't want any employees stumbling in on the hack running. But it could That'll also spawn bad. in this room here, too. Guard. Alright, I'm gonna 
to keep that refresher brush just due to the fact that I just stood right next to this guy. So I'm always going to have rush, which means the civilians won't be able to spot me in these areas. And we're going to figure out which PC it's on. Watch the guard. Oh, fuck. They've upgraded their security. You need to go to the IT office and sign off on the request okay, yeah, to one of the right side. But we can note that this computer. This computer is fine to do this with. Like this, this heist itself is one of the easiest heists to stealth with no mask, without any sort of exploits or anything. So using, so using no clip, it really gives you the advantage that you shouldn't need for this heist. Stay off the camera. So we're gonna wait for this this hack to be completed so we can finish it on the main computer, and then we can you go and no clip now back to the main the computer connection. and activate it again. And then we'll be good to move all the way down to the vault. If you're trying to get a speed run time, I would get the code, figure out what the code is, and then restart the heist so you can just go straight into the room without doing all of this. They've planted decoys in the system. I can see four possible codes, but only one uh, will work. You'll no, need to shouldn't be in here. Stop right talking. One. Stop talking to me. All right, so the code is three six nine eight um, nine three eight six. That's the one. Done. There are two layers of security for the vault: a dual security lock and lasers. All right, so for the control box, we can no clip this, and we can go around doing everything Those through no clip. Those lasers are powered through a number of electrical boxes. Look around, find them, and turn off and the switches. Red. Just make sure you get the right switches. And we can jump in and out of no clip so that it makes it a faster experience than running back and forth. It seems like the wiring logic changed. Keep an eye open and make White. sure you get the right switches. I'm used to calling out for when I'm on Discord doing this heist legitimately, so that's what that is there where I'm calling it out for myself. And then red. We can go all the way to the back left for the red one. Done. You need to that. find more electrical boxes. Take a look and on the other floor. Rush over to okay. the manager's office. So the next step is to get a blue key card to unlock the vault. But you'll also need to send a remote activation signal from the manager's computer. It's a guard. As soon as you send the activation signal from the manager's office, you have a small window of time to unlock the vault with a blue key card. So maybe get the key card first. Watch it. Guard. Watch the guard. Okay, I don't want to be stuck here for too long. So I can actually move around and let that guards move. Rush straight to the manager's office and do the computer. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna activate the computer. Run the activation code, and then okay. we're going to no-clip over to the vault with the card. To get back to that vault. Hurry. And then the vault will be done. Perfect. The executor Great. is. It's unlocked. Open it up. And then we need to find a way so the guards There's don't a guard. catch us moving. So what I'm going to do is just leap over here. Perfectly done. And then we're going to open this up again. Now we need to watch the security guard upstairs, because he's the one that could give us away here. We're going to turn this camera off for now. We're going to rush over to the vault and open watch it out. Up. I see a camera. This difficulty brings the cameras back to life. I forgot about that. What did I just hear? Okay, well, that's okay. He's going to come downstairs. gonna come downstairs and catch me down here but he's gonna go round and he's gonna check the sprint location there rather than round this way so we're gonna be safe watch the guard and the most ideal thing to do here is open the vault so I can do that with no clip we're gonna open the vault wait for this guard to go back upstairs and we're gonna take one bag of loot before we do anything else so he's gonna go back upstairs 
Let's make sure that camera doesn't spin around on us. We're gonna go take one bag of loot. All right, we're after two things: the server and the cash. One bag of loot, and then we're gonna go over to the security room. The Watch server the should have the information we need about this conspiracy. We're gonna and go over to the security room in this, this vault. Shark's dirty little secrets as well. Or not? We can actually stop him in place before he does this to us. Gonna rush. Check behind the gates. Everywhere. We're gonna open this it's door. Open that. And then we're gonna throw this loot bag in front of the guard. Pick Steal that up. He's gonna go can. back to where turn he was. He's just gonna turn into a like a, a roaming NPC now that he almost caught us there. Check and these the are all gonna roam, but because they're roaming, it doesn't actually mean anything. There. Like we're safe now, completely safe. It's so the guard. cameras are now disabled because he saw the money bag which broke his pattern, so the cameras are all turned off, which means we have free reign to move and do whatever we need to do stealthy without the camera up here being a nuisance for later. Take all the loot, start just throwing cash on the floor. I said there's not really much that you can do on this heist with no clip, minus a couple of time skips and, and, si and time saving, but... We're just gonna continue playing it normally from this point out. Like we'll use no clip to move the bags, but that's gonna be about it really. There's not really much else we can do with no clip here. And there's Almir's toast right there on the servers for some reason. Oh, he actually saw the bag, which is not good for me. There's a guard. Which bag did he see? It's not this bag. Guard. Okay. That was close. He saw the bag that I had back here rather than the ones out front, which was strange. I've never seen that pattern before. We're gonna open this up and see if it's a server. It's not. We're gonna open this one up. Get the rest of the cash, the last two bags, and then the server. That's everything. Now get the fuck out of there. Not everything though, because he wanted us to get the server, so Let's your line is broken. Alright, and now I can hack his radio and sprint out the door. I thought I heard something. And we're done. It's really as easy as that. Minus a couple of uh couple of guards that might see us as we're approaching the van. But we're gonna use the uh, garage path. Oh, the parking lot, uh, parking lot path. We're gonna crouch behind this door here, and we're gonna go up and grab all of the loot and just throw it into the truck. Let's get this. We'll look this way and throw That's it. That's one. That's two bags. That's four. Six bags and counting. Now I could That's get handcuffed while I'm down there, and I can't see what the guards are doing. Now that we have the server, we can focus on the cash. Load it up. But I've still Only got one left. that one life to keep it stealth. There was never any doubt yeah. that you'd handle this. All done, and now we're just gonna exit. In and out. Pretty good time. Could have been faster if I knew the code and restarted, but like I said, for the sake of transparency, that's actually decent for me. We made 1.1 million dollars in 13 minutes, which isn't the fastest. Um, money farm when it comes to this, but there is a link in the description for the fastest money farm if anybody wants to check that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. My name's been Dropout TBH. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Join the notification squad to keep notified every single time I upload a brand new video here on YouTube. My socials will be listed below. There is only two more heists left of this series, and then we're probably going to look into doing something like a serious, legitimate playthrough rather than doing the no clip playthrough. But I will continue to upload exploits and different mods and things that get released. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.